If you are frequently masturbating to the point where you are ejaculating every time, and when I say frequently masturbating, I mean like if you're doing this, you know, four or five times a week and you're, you're busting a load every time you do it, it will negatively impact your sex drive and it will negatively impact your ability to perform. Because of, for two reasons, and probably even more than that. One, you're training your brain to kind of think that that's how you want sex to be, right? Whatever it is that you're fast forwarding to, because let's face it, if you are a porn consumer, you know, you fast forward to your favorite parts, right? Or you look for scenes that are, you know, your favorite scenes or whatever, and you go there and then you take it out and you, you know, you enjoy yourself. Now, if what, what you're doing by doing that, it's just making it hard for somebody to please you in real life, right? Because the person's wearing a certain thing. They, they're making eye contact in a particular way. If you're doing virtual reality, it, you know, hopefully you've done virtual reality porn and I'm not opening up a can of worms for you here because it's a whole nother thing. But if you are training your brain to be responsive to that, it makes it really hard to be responsive to your partner, right? So that's one thing. Another thing that if you are ejaculating regularly like that, sure, you know, there, there are some studies that, that indicate that the prostate may be healthier uh, if you're ejaculating multiple times like that and, and all the time. But what it does to your sex drive and to your mental state is it just really kind of depletes you. And so ancient cultures really had very strict rules about this. You know, like if you go back in most societies, in most cultures, there are rules around, not rules, but there were rules around how often you should ejaculate. Not necessarily how often you should have sex or be touching yourself, but how often you should waste your seed out into the universe, right? And I think that those traditions had it right because guys I see who masturbate regularly like that, they're just, you know, they, they, they lose a little motivation, become a little depressed because the dopamine levels are plummeting. Um, and so dopamine fuels passion, not just sexual passion, but passion everywhere. And what happens when you're chronically masturbating to the end like that is you're just constantly chasing this feeling that you never quite get. And you start masturbating because you're bored, because you're tired, because you're trying to go to sleep, and it becomes anti-productive, counterproductive. And so for most of my guys who come to me and they, they're clearly manibus drained or uh, depleted because they've been masturbating too much all the way to ejaculation, then one of the first things that we do is an ejaculation masturbation fast, where for 30 to 60 days, depending on the person, they are off of all pornographic material. They are off of masturbating. And then they signed a sobriety contract for that so that we can actually remove that, start boosting the dopamine levels back up and remove kind of, you know, what has become taboo to call an addiction. We're supposed to call it more of a compulsion um, and get your brain chemistry back on track to where it used to be. So not only will it deplete your drive and, you, you know, and everything else, it'll just deplete your sexual response cycle, and it'll make it really hard to be turned on to a person. 